everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture and today I'm gonna to be using Nerdy Crafters Super Not Another Craft Kit to create my own creature. And then before we get started, I've gotta mention that the Series 2 Mutant Universe trading cards are available right now at aceofclay.com. The series in its entirety features nine brand new cards with different mutants and creatures on them, along with two brand new chases. We've got the Ice Cream Man's Truck and the Holographic Guides Chase. So again, these are available at aceofclay.com. The link is in the description box below, so grab them before they're gone. All right, and now without further ado, let's bust into this thing. All right, Nerdy Crafter, I know I'm pretty sure just judging by the size of this box that this is going to be even better than your first one. And your first one was amazing, so good. This is in collaboration with Smart Art, which is an amazing company. They put out such high quality subscription boxes. You gotta check them out too. I know you all know who Nerdy Crafter is already, so I mean, I guess I could throw up her social media handles really quick even though that was pointless. Oh, and then if you don't subscribe to me, I will wave this sharp pointy thing at you. Do I even need a sharp pointy thing to open it? Oh my God, Jackie, I don't even need it. <sighs> oh, smells like salt. Not really, it smells like amazing new art supplies. Oh, look at that. And I got a letter. Ace of Clay, thank you for being such an awesome friend and supplier of USA products. I really appreciate you and our love of all things YouTube crafts. Now with this kit, Pat, my husband, succeeded in following instructions, so I expect you'll be more ready this time around. I'm so excited to see what you make. Your steampunk character looked amazing. What monstrous creature will you make this time? We're all gonna find out really soon. Thank you, Jackie. And look at this beautiful full color instruction booklet. Oh, and also this is the same price as her first one. So this is gonna be even better than the first one, but it's still the same price. And I do know that there are limited quantities available. So if you wanna get it, you gotta get it now ASAP. And here we go, all the instructions, which we are going to keep this very, very close. All right, let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll get into the project. All right, here we go. We've got some paint brushes. Beautiful, I still have my other ones. And look, everything's in this nice big bag, keeping it all organized. Let's see what we got. Wow. Okay, so look at this. We got some rubber shapers and ball styluses. Of course, a sharp pointy thing with refills. Some popsicle sticks. A nice hollow sticker, check that out. Rubber bands. What's this? Sculpting tools, look at these, they're like, they're iridescent sculpting tools. Those are beautiful. And we've got, are these like emery boards? Yes, little like nail files. And we've got some armature wire, a collapsible bowl, and a spatula. And a funnel. All right, and then I'm gonna put it all, oh look, there's something else I missed. There's this thing. I have no idea what this is yet, but we'll find out. Okay, looks like some sort of like pouring cup thing. And then we've got a whole Lazy Susan. All right, next up we've got a mold. Very nice, look at this high quality mold, this is crazy. Some more molds, these are for wings, look at that. So if you don't wanna sculpt the wings, just make them with the molds, you're speaking my language now. All right, we've got some chalk acrylic paint, some plaster, a measuring cup, some oven bake adhesive for cosplay. And then we've got some cosplay sculpt. A huge work mat. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. And then main event, for me at least, an actual airbrush. This is insane that all of these products are in one kit together for the price point that it's at. This is absolutely amazing. I am so excited to use this airbrush. Look at that, it even comes with its own instructions. And it's rechargeable, are you kidding me? Wow, check out that trippy finish. It's even branded. Ooh. Very nice, look at that. I'm not gonna take all the little components out yet until we need them, but 
There's a literal airbrush in this kit. These things alone are so expensive and the fact that she included one in the kit is just amazing. And then airbrush paint set. Check it out. I'm not gonna take these out either, but there's a lot of colors in there. We'll get to that when we get into the painting, of course, but we need to get started. So for the first step to create this project, we need to make our plaster base. So we're gonna set this aside and look, we're already trying to start without reading the instructions. <laughs> So I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the bag. I think I need this, 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 the bowl. I'm already losing my mind. Set this aside. All right, making your creature figure. Okie doke, the idea of this kit is to make your own custom figure with the exclusive mold that I sculpted. Yes, step zero, figure it out, JK. <laughs> Prep your workspace, you will need. And this, so, hmm. <laughs> I think, I'm already getting ahead of myself, but I think what I'm gonna do, I know you can make these wings out of plaster, but I think I'm gonna use them as a push mold and make them out of cosplay instead. Prepare your creature mold with rubber bands. See the picture example. Don't skip this step. <laughs> Measure 200 milliliters of plaster in the measuring cup and put it into the open collapsible bowl. Do not compact the powder. Um, okay, if I say okay one more time, I swear. Okay, got our bowl, got our plaster, let's measure. 200 milliliters of plaster in our measuring cup without compacting it and put it into the open collapsible bowl. Pour our water into the plaster, all of it. Mix the plaster and water with the spatula. Be sure to get all the plaster that might be hiding at the bottom of the container and the edges. Smush and stir. Our plaster is nice and mixed. It's got this nice like milky texture. Okay, now I need to put the rubber bands on this thing. Use the silicone funnel or a popsicle stick to help pour the plaster mixture into the mold about halfway. Okay, now she said when it's filled halfway, gently pick up your mold and tilt it on its hind legs to make sure the plaster gets to the bum. Fill the remainder of the mold, this time to make your flat circle base or wings with the excess plaster. All right, now I'm gonna let this sit for one hour and then I'll come back and try to unmold some of it. I might actually wait the full two hours so I can just unmold everything at once. So, see you in two hours. All right, we are back. It has been two hours and you can see I didn't clean anything up, but I'll do it. I'll do it later, I promise. All right, time to break this guy open and see if I did it right. <laughs> Plaster definitely set. Oh my gosh, it worked. It worked, well of course it did. It's a nerdy crafter kit, of course it worked. All right, now that we've got our little guy demolded, I took most of the seams off and we're gonna start working on our creature. So I'm gonna switch to my normal view and let's get sculpting. And there's all my supplies that I will be using to sculpt a dragon. We're gonna turn this little figurine into a dragon. But first, we're gonna make the wings. And like I said before, I'm going to be using this as a push mold. So I'll be adding cosplay into the mold, pressing it in, and then we're gonna stick some wire in there later so that I can bend the wings after they're baked. And then I want to embed the wire in the wing, like so, by adding another piece of clay over the top of it and blending that in. And the way that the wings are going to be positioned, you're not going to see underneath them, so I'm not worried about this looking pretty. And then this silicone worked really great as a push mold. I didn't have to add cornstarch or anything. It released beautifully, as you can see. Check it out. And we have a wing. Let's make the other one and then touch up some areas. And then we can go ahead and bake these so we can add them to the sculpture later. Let's go ahead to the oven. Now I'm adding some Cosclay Oven Cure Adhesive to the surface of the head. Then we're gonna start adding the clay and start sculpting all the features, starting with the snout. All right, now we're gonna work on a little brow area here using my new spoon tool to blend that in. And then it's gonna be a kinda more serious, maybe a little angry looking derpy dragon which is, you know, what it ends up looking. I didn't really go for derpy, but you know, what can I say? 
Now I'm just adding the eye and using this tool here to create the eyeball and the upper and lower lids at the same time. Just shaping out that right here and then refining things with my explorer tool and then I repeat this on the other side until we have a nice symmetrical dragon face. After I add this part here, this is going to be some hair sticking off and this at one point does end up looking more like a goat than a dragon but I promise you in the end it will look like a dragon. <laughs> Now I just want to add a couple more details to the snout and then of course the little nostrils and the mouth. These are going to be the lips or the mouth. I got a nice little thin snake of clay here that I'm blending in. Then I use my explorer tool to separate the top half from the bottom. Now this little ball stylus that I'm using isn't very bulbous at all. It's actually kind of pointy. So it's like a ball with a point at the end of it. It's kind of like an arrowhead type tool and I don't have one like this and I really enjoyed it for this fur texture. Check it out. All right now I'm going to add some spikes going down his face and on the top of his head. This is also going to extend down the rest of his body and his future tail. And then I forgot where the holes were for the horns that I'm gonna add, so I just gotta cut some clay off there, add some clay into the holes, and then poke my wire into that so it's nice and secure because the hole's too big for the wire. Which is good because it accommodates several different gauges of wire. And this is the point where he totally looks like a goat. I was actually gonna add some more fur like under the chin, create a little beard, but that would make him look even more like one. So I decided not to do that. And we're gonna stick his ears on, and go from here until the head is completely done. Then we can start working on the body. Now, once that clay is on the chest area and most of the body, I'm gonna start adding some details to it, starting with some chest plates or breast plates or skis, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, we're going to do those now. Shape them out with my spoon tool, my explorer tool, and get those done. Now we're going to extend that spiky mohawk down the rest of the body. Now to give the body some texture, I'm just creating a nice cross hatching pattern here with my explorer tool. Didn't feel like putting scales on him, but that looks good. Let's get him in the oven. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to work on the legs. Just going to cover these in clay and we'll detail his toes and feet and give him some claws and go from there. And now that that body is pretty much done, we're going to give him a tail. I'm rolling out a snake of clay that tapers at one end, and then I'm cutting all the way down it, but not going all the way through so that this can wrap around my wire fairly easily. And then let's finish off that tail with some more spikes. Now I want to finish off the feet with some claws. Just like that. Three down, nine more to go. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the wings, but not before I add some of that clay adhesive to the holes, and then I press in my wire. Then blend everything in so it's nice and smooth. And then I actually ended up using some of that oven cure adhesive to take away fingerprints, kind of like clay softener, and it worked pretty well. I'm very happy with it. Now let's get this in the oven. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. The first step, I'm going to take my white chalk paint and give him a nice primer coat. I did three coats of this. All right, so to protect my walls and workspace, I used the box that the kit was shipped in to create a cove for my sculpture while I airbrush him. And the reason he is already red is because the file of me airbrushing him red was ruined and I can't use it. So unfortunately, this was probably the most satisfying airbrushing clip that I had and it's gone and I'm sorry for that. So you get to watch me create some low lights and shadows and highlights. And just while I'm editing this thing, I'm just thinking like, why couldn't the clip of me painting this thing all white be the one that got ruined? It had to be the satisfying red one. But anyway, on the bright side, this will not be the last time you see me airbrush on this channel. So, you know, next time I do it, uh, you'll be able to see the entire process. But here we're just going in with those shadows. The purple looks great with the red and we're just going crazy with it. I haven't airbrushed in so long. It was so nice doing this again and having it actually come out pretty good. All right, now that I got all the purple on, the yellow was a lot of fun. The highlights were very satisfying to make. It gives it a nice little sort of orange medium tone in there in between the red and the yellow that I'm adding. And it's just, it looked really nice. Like look how spicy this guy looks. And now to finish him off, once I'm done airbrushing and he is completely dry, I'm going to paint the eyes black, the horns black, and we're going to add some black detailing to the wings.
Now once everything is completely, completely dry, I'm going over the whole surface with some matte acrylic varnish to get rid of some of that shine. These are high gloss paints, and I just want to dull them down a little bit. And he's done! My dragon that I created with Nerdy Crafters Super Not Another Crap Kit is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments.